Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Kim here and I am back. I am back from holidays. I had an amazing time and you're going to see in the video some little clips here and there of, of some fun stuff. Um, this video, I've added a little uh, preview to it uh, because I, I need to explain a few things. Number one, it's not the greatest um, video uh, production because it was done choppy and in little bits. And sometimes I didn't turn my camera the right, my phone camera the right way. And sometimes we forgot to put our hands in there. Sometimes we, I cut off too soon, but you'll get the gist of the whole video. I had a great time at the, at the, uh, it's, it is a scrapbook crop, but we call ourselves the scrappers and the boxers scrappers because, um, there are a lot of people there that do just scrapbooking and boxers because they, we came up with the name. It was just, uh, you know, one of those things that somebody said, well, if they're the, the scrappers, what are we? And so I just said the boxers. And so that's how the name came about. So now we are official boxers and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we did have a scrap out one time with some, some, um, uh, punching gloves or whatever they are, uh, just for fun. We took some pictures years ago. Anyway, I just thought I would introduce this part of the video just to explain how I went to some of the, um, gals and did a little quick little blurb at their table. Didn't really show you a lot. Um, but a little bit of, of everybody's table, what I could. Sorry, Deb, I never made it back to you. Uh, Val, what happened? I never got to do you either. And there were a few other little things I would have liked to have added into the video, but it didn't quite make it. Thelma, I didn't get back to you to show you the, to show more pages of this um, journal that you're working on, this Alice in Wonderland journal. But hopefully you'll do a video and send it to me and then I can add it into one of my videos for people to see. Or you can put it on your own channel, which we've been talking about. Um, I will link to Barb's channel, uh, in the description. I will, uh, there were a couple of other links. Uh, one of them was, uh, to a shop called the Scrapbook Cottage in Steinbach, uh, which, uh, Kathy is, um, works there and, uh, she does a lot of videos for them. And, um, Thelma had talked about, uh, an Etsy seller named Raven. I will have to try and find her link, uh, for her Alice in Wonderland imagery that she has because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful kit. I wouldn't mind getting it for myself. So there are a few things I have to add in links below. I may not have it done by the time this video airs. Uh, once we go through the whole video, uh, you will see the sharing table where um, we everybody adds things into the table and you get to take stuff off. I grabbed a few things, and <laughs> but I'll show you what I got in another day. Um, I will also be adding on, um, there is a challenge that Deb gave me, so she should have been in that video for sure. Uh, she gave me a challenge, uh, of stuff that she put together off the table. I started to show it to you and they gave me three hours, but I, you know what? I really had no time to work on it. I worked on it a little bit there. And so I will show you where I'm at and I will continue to work on it at home and, and do another video when I'm done. But I will show you, I will, this is the pile, so I will resort it again so you can see everything. And um, I will share that with you at the other end of this video. So again, I'm glad to be back. I have so much to do, so much to tell you, so much to show you. Um, some of the things I want to talk about is uh, we are going to have several videos. We have the fabric series coming up. It's supposed to start Monday. I'm going to try my best. I might have to be a few days late, but I'm going to try my best to get it ready for already tomorrow. My goodness. Um, we have the Tuesday's techniques. I'm almost ready. So that'll be still going, uh, as planned. I have multiple, uh, Canucks, thrifty Canucks videos to show you, including one that, uh, I got to go with on, with a subscriber, Ruth Aiken, and she, uh, is from Manitoba. So we hooked up and we went and had a day together. You will get to see that video later on. Um, again, I will show you the scrapbook challenge. I also have, uh, I'd like to do a follow or a flip through book or sorry, flip through video of my needle books that I made for the girls and more, more, more. So there will be a lot of videos coming up in the next couple of, uh, 
days. I'm going to try to get as much out as I can. I want to do a follow-up video because I've got a huge collection of new digitals that I've been working on. Uh, when I came home, I was a little too tired to get, jump right in and start working with uh, YouTube. So instead, I sat in my office for a day and I worked on um, new digitals. and Oh, they are so super. I hope you're going to love them. So that's coming up. Um, my 2,500 subscribers, I only need 106 more. So we're going to be doing a campaign for that. That's also coming up. But anyway, that's all I want to tell you just quickly before this video starts. So stay tuned, watch the video. If you're interested, it's like watching your own home videos where we make mistakes and, you know, stutter and laugh and, and be silly. Um, and then at the end, you'll see a little uh, tidbit of um, the the uh, the uh, challenge that they gave me. And then I will follow through with a little bit more afterwards. So that's it. Uh, and yeah, and I will show you this at the end of it as well. So that's uh, it. Uh, uh, strap in and stay tuned. And uh, I'll see you on the other end. Okay, bye for now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Kim here. I just wanted to do a quick scan and show you. Thank you, Lori, for this uh, comment. Lori said, I have real friends to show my friends on Facebook. <laughs> That's Thelma in the corner. Uh, we'll be sitting with her later on. I'm going to try and sit down with all the girls and uh, give you an idea of what they're like and what kind of creativity they have. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all soon. And here I am sitting with Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Kim. And she is working on um, her mixed media art project. Do you have it handy somewhere here on this table? This is all her table. I had a picture of it, but I don't. And look at this lovely suitcase of fun. All her glue. Oh, here's part of her. My lap book. Her lap book she's working on. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Can you open it up a little bit and show us some of it? Oh, wow. Um, I think she's following uh, Eva from Bohemian Crafting. She's doing kind of her style of uh, lap yep. book. Oh, isn't this delicious? Look at this. It's all paper to use underneath and then more oh. flip-ups and flip-outs. and. Okay. You know, they're going to want a class in this. I'm going to have to get you to be a guest teacher on my channel. Isn't this amazing, you guys? And now she's working on making a paper doll. Um, and she saw it in a, one of the Somerset magazines. It's going to be just beautiful. Okay, I'm just showing you what she's doing, and I'm going to move on now to somebody else. But this is just to give you an idea what they're working on and the, the mad, madness on her desk. Yeah, and it's always madness on my desk. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, see you with somebody else next. Okay, I'm sitting with Marie now, and she's going to practice showing you her hands. Come on, Marie. <laughs> she has gone, we have a table, and I'll show you the table later. It's a uh, kind of a sharing table where um, people bring stuff they don't want, and then you can take whatever you want, and you can put stuff back. And it, It's just a fun place to get more stuff. And, and it's free. So she gathered up all these different fabrics off the table and she's tearing off pieces for herself and then she's putting the rest back on the table for somebody else to take. So I think she's tearing off about a six inch strip uh, and, and she'll use it in her, her journals. Um, but that's her project for today. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And yeah, I'll eventually show you the sharing table. It is amazing. And now I'm on the other side of the table with Diane. There's Diane. And she is making hidden paper clips. And she's got a guillotine cutter here. And I'm staying clear. Yeah. Uh, good as idea. she chops through. <laughs> I think she's going through many layers here to make her individual paper clips. Yeah. Those so. look awesome. Do you have something to show us how they work? Okay. This side and then this side. Wow. That. Sorry, I just kind of got it there. That looks amazing. Okay, she showed me how to do these. So in one of our tips and techniques, uh, tricks we'll be doing later on, I will be sure to share how she made them. And that's what Diane's doing today. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so I ordered... 
Um, I'm here at Lindsay's uh, booth or uh, table, and she's going to show us what she's working on. Now, she's kind of a scrapbooker, card maker, mixed media artist, a little bit of everything. So, uh, Lindsay, show us what you got here. Well, I ordered um, something from Stampin' Up! that okay. I'm putting together. So, it's not very um, hard. It's just putting together pieces. But I really like this because it's a birthday card organizer. Oh, that's so you cool. Write all your friends' birthdays and get their cards ready and hmm. so they can get mailed out. So I, I see the month of February with my name isn't on it. Well, I'll be filling that in. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, it also came with some cards that I'm just sticking together. Ooh, so. But look at all that fussy cutting that's already done. Did, yeah. you, do it, you, did you have to cut it all out yourself? No, it, it actually came die cut already. Oh, like it's really nice. simple. Nice. But I bought a whole bunch of kits that I'm just trying to get together today. So this is oh, yeah. kind of what came in that. So. Okay, perfect. Yeah. What fun. Hope you have some leftover flowers. They're really sharp. Yeah. Okay, so we just had a quick visit with Lindsay. Moving on. So this is Nancy, our youngest crafter. Hi, Nancy. Hello. And what is it you're doing on your table? You going to show me? Well, I made... What is that? That it's looks a, really... Oh, that is so cool. Is it like origami? No. Can you tell me more about it? It's supposed to be a paper dragon based off of something. Okay. And then how did you fold it up like that? That is so cool. Oh, now I'm going to have to get the pattern for making that. I was also working on this where it's like a little box and Okay. Little, like you would open it up and then I would like there would be supposed to be another box inside of it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us what you're doing today. Okay? Okay. All right, see you later. Bye. I'm sitting I'm here with my friend no. Barb and she is making cards. I am. This is what I'm making. Ooh, and that's done with washi tape. You got it. You bet. <gasps> Wow. So Easy. you do each in each color individually? You yes. cut these on a diagonal, it looks yes. like? Yes, yes. So then it'll go across my card like that. Wow. Yes. Gorgeous. Thank now, Barb you. has her own YouTube channel. I do. And she's going to start working on it a lot more. I am. <laughs> And I'm going to put a link to her channel Barb below. Inc. Barb Inc. Yes. And I'm going to put a link to I her channel. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, on my channel here. And we're going to get her doing her YouTube thing again. Yes. Okay. I have tons of videos to post, actually. Okay. All right. That's Barb for you. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. So now I'm here with my friend Thelma. And Thelma. Hello. <laughs> And she is going to tell you what she is working on, and it is amazing. I have a girlfriend whose daughter is turning 18. She's having an Alice in Wonderland themed birthday party. Nobody else can come as the queen because she is the queen. And I'm making her an Alice in Wonderland journal. So these are just some clip cards. Open it up. And... Here's another one. <gasps> I love these images. Uh, no. Now, you got these from a dealer these or a seller on Etsy? These are off of Etsy, and the gal's name is Raven. Okay, we'll find the link and put it on yeah, the, on the page. These images are collection. just gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Where's the bunny rabbit? We'll find the bunny rabbit for you. There's the bunny. Oh, that is just so cute. Even I want these. Wow, and now you had these printed, on, did you print them on your own printer? I just print them at home on my printer. Uh, but they're printed like photographs. Yeah, I put yeah. it on photograph paper. <gasps> that I is have to just learn from amazing. Kim where to get that other kind of paper, but I know what other kind of paper I can notice paper and find it. <laughs> so that I'm not using real photograph paper, but you can get that paper for photos. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is going to be amazing. We are going to come back to Thelma's book later on uh, just to show how things are progressing <laughs> so on it. So when I get page three done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Thelma. You're Someday welcome. we're going to get Thelma to make her own channel and start teaching online one of these days. But um, I will be the first to let you know when she does. Okay, moving on. Bye. Okay, now I'm here with Kathy. 
And she's going to show us what she is working on. This looks delicious, too. So this is uh, an actual folio that belongs to someone. I just can't remember her name. And then I made it, and then I changed it. So this is for my friend who went to London at Christmas time. And I wanted to make her, like, a little folio. So these are all pockets. Wow. Okay. There's a magnet. That's flipping and flapping and all over yeah. the place, and right? There's a pocket here and there's a pocket here. And then it opens up over here. here wow. Here, here. Pocket. Okay. And pocket. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to try and done. figure that out on my own <laughs> <laughs> just by watching you flip all these yeah. things out. And you're using Stamperia papers, I think, this right? A combination? Actually, no, I think this is Chalbella. Hang on, it's right here. Yeah, it's Chalbella. It's called London's Calling. It came out a couple months ago. We had it in the store, and I don't know if it's still made, but okay. I just fell in love with it because I love London. Oh, for sure. And um, Kathy works in a scrapbook store. What a I way do. to enable her her um, stash of supplies, isn't yeah, it? I do work in a scrapbook <laughs> store, yes. Surprisingly, I don't own that much. Um, but she does work for a, what is, is can I say the name? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for Scrapbook Cottage in Steinbach. Hi, Sharon, if you're watching. And um, uh, Kathy also does uh, videos and uh, stuff for the store on Facebook. Facebook. So we'll try and put some of those links in the uh, video as well. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for letting me visit with you, Kathy, and I'm moving on. <laughs> See you later. Show you my pretty nails that I did just for you. I'm sitting here with, with Gertie, and she's going to show me her pretty finger, fingernails that she said she did just for me, just for this video. Hi, Gertie. Hi. And she is working on what? What are you making here? I am trying to make some flowers for my, this is my uh, 25th wedding anniversary album. For your 25th wedding for anniversary? For my 25th. And wow. I've been married 50 years. 50 years? Last year was 50 years. Okay. To the same man? To the same man. And he's still alive to tell and the story. And he's still alive to tell. <laughs> And he still lives with me. And he still lives with you and, of course, loves you. Uh, well, these flowers are pretty. Did you spray them or something? No, they came You bought like them this. like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. And so that must be some of your wedding pictures there. Is that you? Can I show you? This is, this is, oh, this is look 25th. This is my 25th. I don't think I have my wedding pictures. But I have done them both in one album, the wedding and the 25th. Okay. And I could have done the 50th, but I didn't have them. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping to find more pictures of you at the wedding. No, this is at the 25th. Okay. All right. Well, we just stopped in to see what she's doing. She is a scrapbooker. She does have a daughter in the pictures, but we won't be showing any of those uh, for the video. Uh, but yeah, this is what Gertie is working on here. Yep. So we'll uh, move on to the next one. Thanks for showing us, Gertie. Thank you. Okay, bye now. Bye. And now I'm with Lori, my friend Lori. Hi, Lori. Um, and Lori is going to show us, um, first of all, Lori started out as a scrapbooker, card maker, and then she got bit by the junk journal bug. Only a little bite. Only a little bite. But, <laughs> but you know what? Um, she is getting into this, and I've seen her stash of stuff. Yeah, we've got her hook, line, and sinker. She's going to be joining us. And so this is her hardcover book that we worked on uh, from the videos. And she made it with a denim uh, skirt cover. And the lining was, this was the, the lining? The it was lining of the pocket. Inside. The lining of the pocket on the inside uh, that she took out and turned into a pocket on her journal. Awesome. So we're just going to do a flip through of a couple pages. We don't want to go through the whole thing. It's kind of her personal book. But she started out with the Book of Canada. This was the uh, uh, book the jacket, jacket, right? Jacket, yeah. The cover on it. And uh, so she kept that for the book. And I'm just going to flip over a little bit. And she's made it kind of a, a scrapbook, a smash book type of journal. And look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. She even has the song, Oh Canada, in the book. That is amazing. Just amazing. So she talks about her camping and different trips that they went on through Canada throughout the year. She was able to keep a lot of the original images in the book. 
or uh, cut them out and use them in the book. And just amazing. I won't go through all the personal stuff, of course, but just a quick flip through. Although, there they are. Look at that. It's a very long. 40, 40 years ago. <laughs> 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, wow, I would love to have Lori do a complete flip out of her book for one of my, my videos. But I'm just giving you a little quick taste to see what she has done here. Lots of space for journaling. Lots of space for future possibilities. She's got some notes here. We won't go into those. Um, and just fun, fun stuff. I know this is a book that will be in her family forever and what great memories and to be able to use an old book and turn it into something like this that she can keep forever uh, it's just amazing I am so thrilled I'm so <laughs> glad that you're following along with me uh, I think her books are in much better shape than mine are <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm never just different just different but I'm I'm, I'm still not nowhere near finished look at these designs in here but yeah she was able to keep a lot of the original pictures and uh, incorporate them into her journal and it's it's just allowing to have a place for new pictures to be put and or when we visit you in New Brunswick oh and yeah when they come to visit New Brunswick that's going to be awesome <laughs> yes we'll definitely show you those pages because she's going to bring the book with her <laughs> anyway that's just a little taste of that book I'm not going to go into any further details but yes she did use the whole uh, book the book cover the hardcover and then covered it with the uh, denim and then she's got her Midori style um, our tips and techniques uh, techniques Tuesday book uh, where we're going back to basics she's done her Midori style of uh, um, signature holding the signatures in just looks great and she did have some cracking on her book I had on one side as well and uh, she's uh, fixed hers with washi tape, but it looks amazing. It looks like it's just meant to be needs like to that. needs to be glued, though. Yeah. It's lifting. Yeah. And then when you open up the book, she's got her, her uh, three signatures in. And I think the fun part is that she made her pockets just like I did. She did the first pocket here, did the flip out. She's got the paper there. This is so fun. Oh, and her journal card. And my card. She made her first journal card. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. That is so cool. And just another quick flip through. And I guess if we want to see more, I'm just trying to do this. You could do that part, actually. And uh, so that's the other pocket that we made. And then she left a couple of pages and did the flip out pocket using a music sheet. And I think that's it. That's as far as our classwork. We have yes. homework. Yes, you have homework to do. And, um, yeah, so if you want to see more of her book and more like it, then you got to start following our, our uh, weekly uh, progress. So that's it with Lori. Techniques Thank you. Tuesdays. Techniques Tuesdays, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't even, can't even say it myself. <laughs> um, so this is uh, Lori's contribution to this video, and look forward to seeing more, Lori. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> And now I'm sitting with Mide. Hi, Mide. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Kim? <laughs> Just fine. Now, first of all, uh, before I get started, I want to say to Mide, uh, congratulations on that beautiful grandbaby. She is a grandmother for the first time, but they call her Mamere, right? Yes. Mamere is what you call her because she's French. And uh, so, congratulations Thank to you, Mide. Thank you, Kim. She is just gorgeous, just a pudgy cheek. Happy little baby. Yeah, so sweet. <laughs> so you are scrapbooking today. You're doing a little bit of a... I'm prepping some work for a trip that we're going on. We're going to Italy in September. Oh, wow. And I'm just preparing some scrapbook pages so when I come back, I can just print my pictures and put them on the page. So oh, nice. I, I like following some a certain brand. Um, I like their page kits and stuff, so that's what I'm working on. It makes it simple and easy for me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. This is some of the paper that you're going to be yeah. using. So when you go to Italy, you're going to Italy? Italy. So when you go to Italy, which is somewhere here on the map, um, are you going to go to Paris? Nope. Okay, just Italy? I'm going to oh. the Colosseum and Tower of Pisa. Nice. And then on your way back to Canada, we should have had Lori's yeah. book over here. Yeah. Well, on your way back to Canada, you're going to stop in New Brunswick maybe? I don't know. Pretty Ooh, close. Wouldn't that be fun? 
<laughs> okay, so she's scrapbooking and getting pre- prepared. I'm just showing some of the goodies on her table here. Goodies on my table. Yeah. I like a little bit of everything. Oh, I awesome. like it all. I like oh, there it you all. go. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's just my little bit here with Mire. And uh, we're going to move on to somebody else. Thank you, Mire. Bye you for now. Bye. <laughs> Before and after. Do you need a bar? Yes. <laughs> just want to bring you over here. Sorry for that uh, heavy duty motion. But this is the sharing table. Now, I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, only because it has been picked over pretty good. But there's still a lot of stuff here, and uh, lots of things will get picked up. Look at all these rubber stamps, markers, lace. Everybody gets to help themselves to whatever they want, and then they, um, yeah, whether they leave stuff or not, it doesn't matter. Oh, look at this ribbon. I think I have to take this off the table. Okay, that's going home with me. So maybe some of you might get some of this for me. Um, but yeah, this is the type of stuff that's on here and the type of presents that uh, you can help yourself to. Now we're going to be playing bingo for some kind of great prize. Yes. So there are going to be some great prizes here, and we're going to be playing bingo, and my bingo barb is going to be calling bingo. And, um, yeah, we'll carry on. Hello, everyone. It's Kim here, and I have been given a challenge by all my gal pals they have filled this bag full of stuff I have no idea what's in here and I must produce because I never make anything at these crops so I've been given the challenge to produce something made with all of the items in this bag so I'm just going to take everything out of the bag and show you I got some scrap of paper here two sheets um, at least they're coordinating nothing different <laughs> Okay, I have a magazine called Prisoner of Love. Mm. And oh, it's magazine covers with a little bit of music in them. This looks like a four pager. And then I have Gold Mine in the Sky. Oh, at least they're kind of color coordinated. I can use that. Okay, so I have a little bit of uh, Perry Como. And a, uh, who is this? Everett Johnson. Okay, interesting. Now I've got some blue fabric. All right, I like that. And I've got some blue cotton fabric. Oh, the dreaded toilet paper roll, right? Some black lace, a lot of black lace. I don't know what they think I'm going to do with all this black lace, but we'll give it a try. Are you guys kidding me? Okay, I've got some brown lace. And I've got, this is a piece of, it's a very grayish blue, although you may not be able to tell that from the picture. It's a very gray blue. The flowers look kind of creamy colored. Oh my word, I've got a napkin, they're laughing at me. I've got a leaf napkin. Oh, the colors are still sort of going together nicely. One French fry bag, two French fry bags, but this one's got stuff in it. Okay, let's see what I got. Oh, I got buttons, I got a dangle thing. That's nice. I got a bunch of beads. Now, apparently, I can add anything I want to this, but I can't take away. I have to use it all. What do they think I can do? How much time do I have? You have to use some of all. You don't have to use all of all. For my challenge, how much do I... Well, what time is that? Okay, I think I'm here till 9 or 10, and it is... What? It is... Uh, Okay, it's 4.43. And till 7? No, I think I need at least till 8. 5 till 8. So I have three hours. I got some music, broken music sheets. I have a greeting card. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I saw the examples. I've got some more book pages. Okay, how much lace do you think I can use on this thing? I got more lace. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna take a little snippet off this and then stick it in my pocket. Okay, I got a couple of tags here. Let's see what else is. In. Oh my gosh, they're they're crazy. Okay, so I've got this sparkly fabric. I've had this before from them. Got that. I've got green ribbon, sheer green ribbon. I know this ribbon. I recognize this ribbon. Somebody was handing this out today. I've got some silk cord or rat tail cord. I've got balls. Two balls. They're not even the same size, but okay. I think I got a. Oh, no, I have another ball in here. Now I have some. Here's another ball. I have. I don't know what this is. It looks like a. I don't know what this is, but I see I, I, I see I got a tube here, so that's interesting. Okay, so there is more paper, wine bottle paper, two sheets, three sheets, three sheets of wine bottle paper, and a torn, it looks like it's an avocado stained paper. Oh, they're crazy. Okay, what else is in here? This is it. I've got an empty paper bag. All these cardboard pieces. A couple of journal card type things that are pink on both sides. All right. I've got another napkin here in the gray, which is embossed. I've got a piece of brown cardboard. And a plastic doily. Ooh, I think I need to keep this. I'll just put it in a pocket or something for now. And then I have an envelope, uh, a blank envelope. Oh, there's more in here. Okay, I got a couple of, a little card here. All right. And the last couple of things. Oh, what is this? Okay, I have an envelope. And I have this pink, it looks like a fairy's dusting wand or a horse tail. I don't know what it is. Okay, so that is the pile. I must produce something by 8 o'clock and it is almost 5 o'clock now, so I have three hours. See you soon. And here I am back. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was it was fun. It's, it makes me happy. Did you notice how they said my real friends for real <laughs> that are not on YouTube, but they all they all follow me on YouTube, but but they're my real people, <laughs> my real pals. Anyway, they gave me this challenge and it all came. You saw the bag. It came in this bag here. And what I did is I grouped this all into uh, three sections. So I have all the little bits and pieces that I have to use. I have used a few buttons so far. Um, and then I sorted out some of the music sheet uh, that I will be using in this. I don't know yet what I'm doing with this green ribbon, but it's it's uh, going definitely with all these um, all the blue side. So what had happened is when I sorted everything, I just kind of loosely sorted it and it kind of fell into place. So the music sheets I will use for both uh, different projects that I'm working on, but I came up with um, all of this color. So you saw like some of the tags and the paper and this um, white cream with blue piece and the blue fabrics and the napkin, which I've started to use some of this stuff. So it's in bits and pieces again and the gray napkin. I haven't done anything yet with this fabric, but it will get used. So I took the major piece of the blue fabric and I cut it down to a journal cover. So it's very loosely cut uh, with lots of uh, mm, process yet to be involved. I think I'm going to use one of the music book covers as the um, inside lining of this uh, fabric, but uh, still waiting to, to decide what I'm going to do. 
Um, I realized very quickly, there's no way I could do this in three hours. They gave me way too much stuff and way too much lace, um, and trims. Uh, like there must be at least three, four yards in here. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's going to somehow get incorporated. So I'm, uh, I was told that I had to use everything. Um, and so I will, and, uh, I could still add more, which is a good thing because they didn't give me a lot of paper. Um, but here's what I've got so far. So you open the blue cover. I will be working on more of it. I did some clusters because I had brought some collage sheets with me, um, like some uh, digital printables, um, so that I could work if I had spare time, uh, waiting for a plane. Uh, as it turned out, I had no, no spare time. In fact, I had to do a major sprint, which I don't, I don't run. Um, but I had to do a major sprint, uh, on both sides to, to, uh, to get to from one plane to the next both ways. Um, but I had these printables already done. So I use them as, uh, elements in my clusters because I made a lot of clusters. That was really all I had time to do there. So these are all clusters that are going to be going in this book um, at some place or another. And I use part of the blue fabric for some. I use some of the napkins. Like this has the green napkin and the, uh, the gray embossed napkin under the blue paper, although you don't see much of that blue paper anymore. Um, and, and they're just stapled because I didn't have anything else. Uh, thank you, Lori, for the use of your stapler. I All I brought, honestly, all I brought was five glue sticks and a, a, uh, an envelope of printables. So I had to make whatever I had work. Um, but I will uh, embellish this further with some ribbon and trim because I have a lot of it. And um, uh, these will all be clusters within the book. I put these, oh, this one should probably go on the other side. Uh, I put this tag with it. There is also a blue tag here somewhere in the pile. Um, that I will use uh, as elements in the book. I folded a music sheet. Not sure really where I was going with that. I will see. Um, I liked this button, so I thought I would use it on the French fry bag. The French fry bag, I wrapped, I have two of them, um, but I wrapped this one around the uh, first signature page that I made. Um, and this uh, was a little bit bigger than the eight and a half by 11. So I just folded it over and I will probably make that into a tuck and glue this French fry bag down. So I will have a little tuck spot there and then a, a bigger tuck on this side as well. I think I'm going to put this on on the front because it sort of reminded me of the button. Um, maybe I'll add a little bit of blue in there yet because I do have some of this other blue fabric. So I might add some of that in there as well. So then you open it up and I used the envelope uh, that came with it. So when you see the envelope, I took the flap and I opened it up um, to create two envelopes and then folded it so that it will sit as a signature page or flip in the book. Um, a piece of music sheet. Now this was very fragile music sheet, so I, um, I have to repair this little part here. I don't know if you can see it. I think what I'll do is just glue this down uh, flush against the, uh, or right to the, to the music page, but further embellishment, uh, further embellish it. And then I used one of these wine, um, papers that they, they gave, and I still had some leftover scrapbook paper. So I made a flip tag to sit over top here. That was pretty simple to do. And so it will just give additional writing space and I will probably just embellish this further after. And then, so you have a full page spread here in the center, but I will add more papers in order to use all this stuff up. I'm going to need to add a few things. Um, and then again, you see the rest of the cork there. I will probably cover that. And then the other side of the music sheet, the other side of the envelope. Now this has an envelope window, so I am going to somehow incorporate that into the whole uh, process of putting something in there. Um, it's decorative enough uh, with the pattern that's on there, so I don't think I'm going to cover it up, but I will put something on there and then, of course, decorate the whole envelope. Now, because in this challenge I didn't have the tools, the stains, the ink, you know, the distressing uh, products. I, I will try to incorporate some of that in there now that I'm at home. Um, but yeah, I thought I got a good, pretty good start on this part of the kit. 
And then um, I'm going to move this over and show you what how I sort it. Oh, here's that blue tag. <laughs> I knew I had it here somewhere. And so this is the leftover blue fabric, so that will all get used with with um, that other music sheet. So then the bag went with um, this side because I figured this is going to be the bag is going to be the the uh, part of the journal because I will use all the paper and um, incorporate something with it uh, in the journal. But I had a lot of black lace, lots of black fibers. Uh, again, an image that I had, it seems to be leaning to black, pink, and gold. So that's what I'm going with. And because I can add whatever I want extra, I will. <laughs> um, another little tag that I can use in this, um, and, and this one says Amaze. Um, this is the greeting card. I already folded or tore and folded up one of those wine sheets to make a little notebook. So that's somehow going to get corp incorporated in here. This came with two, no, three, three pink journaling cards. And I thought, well, that's perfect to tie in with the pink. Here's my little fairy duster or horsetail or whatever. So that will again wrap around a page. I'm just going to show you just with this journaling card, uh, just for the sake of that. It will wrap around a page and um, uh, have this uh, talk it, spot, uh, tuck spot, talk it. Did I say talk? This pocket or tuck spot. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it'll be something. And then there's this. Uh, <laughs> so I was calling it a, a fairy duster or it could be, it's like a horsetail, but maybe it'll be the top of a pen. If I um, take apart a pen and, and turn it into like a feather pen, sort of like a quill. So I have that in there. And then I have this gold doily, but I really want to use it um, in my, my, um, just staining and distressing when I do um, the uh, coffee dyeing this summer. So I'm just going to tuck it into a pocket for a decoration, but I'm going to pull it out <laughs> to use afterwards. Um, the rat tail cord, again, a lot of material here. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet. Um, there was another little hard tag and another uh, amaze tag. There's two of those in there. And then there was this black sequined fabric. I hope you can see this, the sequins in this. It's got a lot of florals, so I could see some spot uh, decorating. Uh, the only thing with this black sequin fabric is that it does, um, a lot of the sequins come off. And I had a piece of this before, and I think I just finally got rid of all those little um, sequins. But, or, um, yeah, they're sequins. Um, but I'm sure now I'll be covered in more of these. <laughs> this came with um, a pink, uh, pink, uh, avocado stained sheet. It's got a little tear in it, but I can work with that. I'll just trim it down and uh, use that for some clusters and then use the sheet as a signature page. Um, I kept the wine page uh, to use in here and I have the uh, music uh, cover of this, um, I think it's Perry Como. Yeah, Perry Como. And it's again, pink and black. So I just saw that kind of coming together here. So that'll be part of the signature or part of the journal. I may even make this, um, the journal cover on the brown paper bag. So it has a little bit of strength. Um, not sure yet, but it's still in the process of it. Um, I like the word prisoner of love. Uh, it should say a prisoner of challenge. <laughs> Um, but it's got music sheet on the inside that I can incorporate into the book and, um, the back cover as well that I can use as, um, you know, for doing journal cards or whatever. So that's how I separated the two. That's my thought process right now. The green ribbon goes with that. Um, I have these balls now. At first I wasn't sure, but now I think I'm going to somehow attach them so that they dangle one from the other. I've got lots of black and sort of silvery gray beads here that I think will get incorporated into this. Um, well, that's a purple one. So we'll have to see, maybe that'll go with the blues. And then I also have a pink paper clip, which will work nicely in here. Um, this piece of chain I think will go on the other side. Uh, to use on that journal. Um, more buttons. These little hard cover or hard chipboard pieces. Um, 
I think I will cover them either in fabric or paper and uh, use them as little tags or uh, elements in the books. So I think I'll split those up between the two. I have a wooden um, disc on a key ring. So that just says uh, tassel type stuff to me. And same with all these beads here are going to go with my little bobbly thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I, I'm seeing something here. I've got a silver paper clip that I'm going to put with the blue one um, and a couple of pearls. Uh, but most of the, I think most of the dangly stuff will be used on the black one um, instead of the other, um, except for this purple bead. I think I'll use that over here. Um, but that was just to show you a little closer to what it looks like. And now it's a matter of working with it. So this will show up here and there. Oh, and they gave me glue. Um, <laughs> my least favorite glue, uh, sorry, uh, brand, but, but I just don't really care for this brand. Um, sorry about that, Mr. Um, uh, glue man. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> or glue boy, I guess. <laughs> um, so, so yes, I have my work cut out for me. Oh, look, a blue button. I don't think that came with the kit. I think this was on my desk, but now I'm incorporating into that blue, um, journal. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is what came in the kit. And so I'm going to work with it as best as I can. Uh, but yeah, I will use it all up. You'll see. Oh, one more thing they gave me. Hmm. This, I got a plan for it. It is, uh, I don't know. It smells like it was some kind of a perfumey thing. I'm not sure, but it has the cap and it has this part here that has some kind of perfumey stuff in it. I don't know what it is. The, uh, the writing is worn off, but I will add that this is going into the blue journal somehow. Okay. I think I've got this all figured out. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. It really was a, a you know, a, a, um, a dog's breakfast of stuff, but it just gives you a little, uh, uh, insight into my friends and how much fun I had with them. Uh, and there will be more, I will be sharing more things with you. You'll get to see lots of other stuff. You'll get to see all the things I bought and uh, trust me, I bought a lot, but I will save that for another video. So I'm going to let you go for now. I wish you all a very creative day and I look forward to spending more time with you all this week. So bye for now.